Hi, Tim. I saw your name and I was so happy. Oh, yay. Well, I am it? happy to be here. How are you been? Good. How are you? Amazing. I love your earrings. I was a skeleton for Christmas, uh, for uh, Halloween. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah, I, uh, you know, decided to spookify it up a bit more because of with the show. I mean, these are things that are there all the time, but, you know, I felt since we're talking a fun, spooky show, let that flag fly. Congratulations on a season two. It has been quite a journey to get here, but now you're almost at the end of season two. Tell me about that journey. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's one of those things where it's like, I keep sailing the universe. I don't need to be any more humble. They didn't need to take away season two at one point and then give it back to me. Uh, but it all worked out for the best, um, because we got a really good season two out of it. Um, it was super fun to shoot. Uh, it was, it was hard to be that character, uh, without their gift for sure. It was tough for me to be someone so insecure and kind of mean at different mm -hmm. points, especially to Susan, which is played by Sarah because Sarah and I are just such good friends and such, such goofballs. So for us to have any animosity, even if it's our characters was kind of difficult. Um, but looking over the entire season in the arc, it all kind of makes sense. And, 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 it, and it was, and it was really great. How do you shake that off as an actor? Cause obviously you are acting, but you know, it still affects oneself. You're even like physically in your body. So how do you shake that off? Yeah. Well, I mean, luckily the thing with surreal estate is we, you know, we probably jump to a comedic scene five minutes later, or I was running from a monster, which was a, a grip with a metal pole and a tennis ball and someone screaming at me, you know what I mean? There's a monster under the bed. And there's really, you know, the director's under there with a flashlight when I look under the bed. Um, so luckily there's like, you don't have time to dwell, um, which is great. I think <laughs> maybe, maybe we should do that in real life. Um, <laughs> But yeah, you just don't, There's, you just got to move on. And, but it wasn't, it, that part was hard for me. The animosity between Luke and, and, and Susan was really difficult for me. Um, and uh, I, it was important that we get to a point where we kind of make amends. Yeah. What, no, your character, as you said, has lost his mojo and has to figure out a way to kind of adapt. Uh, if you don't mind sharing, what is something you've lost and how did you overcome that loss? Yeah, well, I have a lot in common with Luke, so <laughs> uh, even filming this season was pretty therapeutic, to be honest. Um, you know, in life, we just got to keep going. Um, there's, 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 there's just you can't dwell. I, I guess I'm, I'm really not a dweller. <laughs> uh, I look forward to, uh, you know, like, like the show, something funny's right around the corner or something. You know, I try and appreciate. Um, life when it's good i think you have to um uh, because real life is going to come it's it's always going to come so if you can't appreciate things when they're when when it's just chilling when you're chilling <laughs> then uh, you're going to be in big trouble when life ain't so chill uh well speaking of appreciating things your character has quite the journey over the season a lot of the other characters do too and there's some real fun pair ups and combos of characters together what was one of your favorite scenes with one of your fellow co-stars and why was that your favorite oh my gosh so many that's my favorite thing about this show as a, as a fan watching it like i honestly mean this when i say this i'm the weakest link on the show i watch it each episode and i say they're so incredible i i, I each I, they must hate me i send them texts after every episode about how amazing they are but there's just so many i mean August going back to the uh, I don't want to butcher it, but the, the 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 acronym for the space program he worked out with, you know, and we get to his past and just Augie on a motorcycle was amazing. Um, you know, Father Phil obviously had one of the most heartbreaking scenes of all, you know, with dealing with his sister. And then he had the beautiful moment with his partner on his couch. And it's about found family and being there for each other. And um Every scene that Savannah's in, she's incredible. Zoe is, you know, Savannah is Zoe's just such a great character, but Savannah is just one of the best actresses of all time. You never know what she's going to do. Uh, she has the ability to just be so powerful yet vulnerable at the same time. Um, 
you know, the heartbreaking scene for me, one of my funnest episodes was the two neighbors that couldn't get along. Mm -hmm. uh, and they had the fence in the middle. And you had that one moment between August and Zoe where they were kind of taken over by the, the, the evil of the two houses and they were evil towards one another. Luke was standing right there. So was I. Like, so was Tim. Like, so was I. Like, when Savannah and Mo had to do this scene and like when Savannah smacked him and she's crying, there is like Zoe smack, sorry, August. I mean, it's also Savannah smacking Mo, you know, and Mo yeah. like, oh, you, you gotta do it, you know what I mean? And do it. And you know, it was wild just to be a part of that, you know what I mean? The emotions are so high, and then they hug for real, and it's beautiful and it's amazing. And it's like, yeah, I love watching everybody's stuff. And Susan, Sarah, I mean, she's acting by herself in a house. And it's compelling. She doesn't even have a scene partner. It's a wall. And I know that on the day she didn't even have the Alexa talking to her. There was like, you know what I mean? <laughs> I know who it was. It was Beth. And Beth is amazing. She's our screenwriter. You know what I mean? But Beth's not an actor. And she's in the other room in the kitchen sitting on an Apple box. Uh, so yeah, just kudos to Sarah. Just how wonderful. And, you know, if you watch last, last night's episode, we got the Elena Watko Lomax character who just came in like, fit in perfectly amazing from day one just right out the gate um yeah very fortunate an incredible cast and i also watch the day players like every guest star we have i think is so fun and they're all so incredible um i love watching the show i like i say i watch it and i'm like i'm the weak link that's what i'm like i just i don't want the luke stuff i want everybody else's stuff you know it's great well, one of the other major parts of the show are the monsters. And you had mentioned how season two is a level up and definitely with the monsters over the season, it's more spooky. The effects are amazing. What was one of your favorite monsters and which one did you find the scariest? And that might be the same one. Uh, it was the one where we had to uh, sing the song. It was kind of like the fun one. It was a really, really fun one where you had the... Uh, the fake Roman agency TV crew guys. What was the name of their amazing? Uh, I can't remember the paranormal. Oh yes. Amazing. That was a fun um, one. Yes. But we had to deal with the little girl that was bullied and the song was saying wrong, mm -hmm. but it was actually mm -hmm. a beautiful lullaby when you sing the words properly. And I remember, uh, the transition from the young girl to the actual demon girl. That was all real. Um, uh, prosthetics and makeup uh, and it was incredible and had this kind of really touching moment out there in the middle of the night it was probably three in the morning and freezing and you just you know you, the girl kind of does her scene that she leaves and they put in the demon and then I've got this demon there and I just remember I'm looking at this demon face but at this point you know you're speaking to the little girl and it was like oh man it was it was really good because it was scary looking but at the same time heartbreaking and kind of it was moving it was it was everything surreal estate it's supposed to be awesome well thank you so much and congratulations i feel we could talk about this much longer but afraid i'm afraid we're out of time yeah hopefully i get to see you in person somewhere soon because that means we're somewhere cool yes we i hope so too yeah pleasure all right thank you again good to see you you too